Welcome to the TextPress tutorial using the Trip to Get to Load and Trip to Get Back to Yard options in TextPress. This video was produced by the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles Motor Carrier Division for users of the Texas Permitting and Routing Optimization System also known as TextPress. There are multiple trip options on the Enter a Route screen. There are instances when the empty equipment used to haul a load is over legal dimensions. Under these circumstances, the trip to get to load and or the trip to get back to yard options are available. Since all oversized loads require a permit, this allows the empty equipment to move without purchasing a separate permit. The entire move must be completed within the effective dates of the permit. On the NRA route screen, the enter trip box will include the origin and destination for the loaded portion of the route. We have already entered the information for the loaded route. To begin the process of permitting the empty oversized equipment, check the trip to get to load box. The box will expand allowing the origin as well as any via points to be selected. We have chosen the intersection option and entered SL338 for street 1 and wire line for street 2. Choose balloon 1 and our selection is now populated in the origin field. The dimensions of the empty equipment must be entered in the appropriate boxes. Enter the dimensions for 12 foot wide, 13 foot 6 inches high, 80 foot long, and 80,000 pounds gross vehicle weight. The Can Use Load Zone Roads option is available if you have load zone axle weights while empty. Notice that there is not an option for destination. Your destination for your trip to get to load has to match your origin from the loaded trip. Once this is complete, choose the Trip to Get Back to Yard to enter the return information for your empty equipment. We have chosen the intersection option and entered US 285 for Street 1 and FM 1450 for Street 2. Choose Balloon 1 and our selection is now populated in the destination field. The dimensions of the empty equipment must be entered in the appropriate boxes. Our empty equipment has the same dimensions for the empty return as used for the empty to load. Make sure the Can Use Load Zone Roads option is checked if you have load zone axle weights while empty. Notice that there is not an option for origin. Your origin for your trip to get back to yard has to match your destination from the loaded trip. Keep in mind that both empty travel options do not have to be chosen. The load may only need one or the other. Once all of the information is complete, choose Validate and Run. The highlighted route will appear that includes the empty travel as well as the loaded travel. Scroll down below the map to view the turn-by-turn -turn driving directions. Notice that the three trips are separated into different routes. This vehicle is now permitted to make the empty trips as well as the loaded trip on this single permit. If you are satisfied with the route, choose Next to continue to the Feed Details page. There is no additional charge for the empty movement options. Choose Payment to finish your application. This concludes the tutorial on using the Trip to Get to Load and Trip to Get Back to Yard options in TextPros. For additional information and more tutorial videos, visit the Texas Department of Motor Vehicles website at www dot txdmv dot gov and enter keyword text prose.